no matter how rich and successful you are, we're all going to the same place. But I just think be kind to as many people as you can while you're here and when you're gone. If you think when you're gone, you go on. Thank you. Thank you. You're a wonderful audience. I'm really excited to be back here. And Sharon is incredibly happy to have all of you here. If you've never been to this before, this is Cool Comedy Hot Cuisine. We have a 19-course meal for you. And unfortunately, all the lavatories are out of order. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Back in 1987, Sharon and I, we thought, let's come up with a cool idea for a food event to raise money for Scleroderma Research Foundation. So we looked up the history of comedy and found out that way back in the olden days, the king would have the court jester come after the meal in order to get everybody laughing, which helped with digestion. And so we thought, that's great. That's how we came up with the first cool comedy, Hot Cuisine. I was called by this great lady, Sharon Monsky, the founder of the Scleroderma Research Foundation. She asked me to perform at a benefit with other comedians to help raise money for research. Robin Williams had been the first comedian to ever perform to help the foundation. I did the benefit a few months later. Since then, I have been involved in every benefit. Bob first performed at Cool Comedy Hot Cuisine, and that year his sister was diagnosed with scleroderma. When Bob's sister, Gay, was diagnosed, that just solidified Bob's commitment to find a cure. From that day forward, Bob emceed the event for the rest of his life. Thank you very much. You know you're doing well when you can thank people laughing individually. I have a lot to live up to. I feel like to really do her justice is to really make huge strides and to really help these sweet, innocent victims with this disease. Bob's sister dying from, of all things, scleroderma was mind-blowing to him. He wanted to honor her memory. That's how he came up with the idea of for hope. Bob and Brad Gray called me and said, we're gonna do this movie to bring attention to scleroderma. And we'd like you to be in it. I read the script and it was funny. So I said, yeah, I gotta do it for Sharon. I have to. Sharon was just really excited it was getting made. This was a big thing because at that time, nobody could even pronounce scleroderma. I think it's scleroderma. Uh, what's that, a deli entree? Sharon had a cameo. He respected Sharon and he listened to her, and he took what she said to heart. Anyway, when I get to know you a little better, I'll exploit your connections with one of our benefits. How about that? I look forward to it. <laughs> Action! Bob was a great director. He's truly one of my favorite directors I have ever worked with, and I wish he had done more of it. I'm so glad I made this movie, and uh, it means more to me than anything I've ever done. And, um... I just want to help some people. Bob and Sharon, the two of them together were an amazing team. You know, and through the film, it's a small piece of PR that I hope will we'll finally put it on the map. Both Bob and Sharon really put the disease in the public eye. That's exactly why we did the movie. Bob MC Sharon's funeral. It was actually at Sharon's funeral that Bob was asked to join the board. More recently, I lost another really good friend of mine to scleroderma, Sharon Monsky, the founder of the Scleroderma Research Foundation. Sharon was an incredible person and a great friend, and she survived through the disease for 20 years. She assembled an amazing board of people. I'm very proud to be one of those board members. And together, we're going to take my grandmother's ass and throw it into the garbage, okay? That was definitely Bob's defense mechanism, his humor. Bob could cry and laugh within one minute. You know, that's just who he was. His comedy always came from a very human place. Here's mildew. But underneath it all, there was just heart. My dad taught me nothing means more than the primary relationships in our lives. His philosophy after grieving was to laugh to try to bring some joy to others. And once you have survived the difficult times in your life, if you choose to and have that gift, you can channel them through stand-up. 
When I think about all the cool comedy hot cuisines that <laughs> took place over the years, it started with Susan, but he made it what it is. Are you having fun this evening? Bob curated the events. He invited the comedians. They all came because of Bob. I love Bob Saget. Love him. Oh, my God. Well, Bob Saget's a very, very dear friend of mine, kind of like his dad. There's not a person who does not love Saget. I'm a sucker for a good comedian. It got better and better and better every year. When it comes time, Bob, for me to be in the back seat of a Bronco with a gun to my head, I want you to drive, Bob. <laughs> Comic relief truly comes at the strangest moments. However you define it, gets us through the saddest of times. The fact that he could rope in so many people to do it was just amazing. Who doesn't want to have Bob, you know? He just was so much fun. Bob then started to incorporate music, which was really a cool element, because that broke up the comedy. If it makes you happy, can't be that bad. I've met and worked with some amazing people. I treasure the relationships I have had with all my gifted friends. That's why we're waiting. We're waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting. We're waiting on the world to change. Bob and I loved doing this event. I mean, it was a ton of work, but it was all with the end goal of ending this disease and finding a cure for it. Bob and Sharon always said from the very beginning, we are in business to go out of business. Help us put the Scleritima Research Foundation out of business because we found the cure. Bob Saget, it's your friend Pat Monahan here. Bob Saget, we love you. Bob, we love you. Bob Saget, uh, he's the best. This is the most beautiful thing you do, Bob. I love you, Bob. Bob told me to make sure you say research so it goes to the right uh, charity. I don't even know how to spell scleroderma. I also had sex with Bob Saget. We want to make sure that we find this cure. You've been real nice. I had a good time. Thank you very much. Bob Saget, huh?